Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create this look from a very very bare face <laughs> in not very long. I'd say this kind of look is something that I would go to the pub, a bar or just something a little bit extra, not like just going shopping. I'm not going to lie to you all, I don't rock around the house like this, <laughs> I definitely do rock the bare face but this is just how I would look if I'm actually making somewhat of an effort. If you're new here, my name is Mel, nice to meet you all. I hope you had a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. In this video, you'll also see a little trick on how I do my eyebrows like this. They basically look like I've had a perm, but I've not. So if that's something you're interested in, just stay tuned. <laughs> So the first thing that I do when I'm getting ready and doing my makeup is I put my hair up and the reason is just because, look, <laughs> it's just a mess. Normally my hair is naturally wavy but after I brush it, this is what I get. I mean, watch. <laughs> what is that? Uh, yeah, so I like to put my hair back like this. I just put it quickly, it doesn't need to look good. Bumps, but never mind. After that, I like to prep my skin. So because you're putting like stuff on your skin all the time, I mean, I've got acne as you can tell. I have tried so many things on my skin. It's just not having it. I've had it since last year and I don't know what to do, to be honest. I'm trying a new skin routine right now and I'll let you guys know how it's going. So to start my makeup routine, what I like to do is I just start off with this product. It's The Ordinary. It's the niacinamide and zinc, 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc. I just put a few drops on my skin, like this, and just a tiny little one up there. Then I rub, but like being really gentle. Like super gentle on the skin. Um, I don't really put it underneath my eyes much, I try to avoid it like that. And then. I like. I like to just let that sit for a little while. Story time with my acne. Last year when I started university, I was getting like a few spots around here and then it just went everywhere. I mean, it's cleared up at the top of my forehead a little bit, but it's just not going from my cheeks. I went to the doctor twice and I got some cream, which did not do a thing. And then they give me some like liquid in a bottle and it's like, a thing that you just dab on your skin but that did nothing either it had zinc in it so which is why i thought that this would work i think it is working but it's just taking its time yeah once i've let this sit and then just put some moisturizer on this is absolutely amazing the serum and moisturizing lotion it's for dry to very dry skin and i do have dry skin so what i do is i just rub it and then i just pass it On my neck. And then I just let that dry as well. Remember to be very gentle with your skin guys because it'll thank you later when you're older and hopefully you won't have as much wrinkles when you're older if you just take care of it now. Ah! I literally look awful. <laughs> oh, okay. Once I've prepped my face for what's going to go onto it, I then go in with my foundation. I have just got a new beauty blender, it's by The Real Technique, it's this one. So I'm just going to open that now. Oh, she's so new! <laughs> what I do is I then go and wet it because if you don't wet these things then it's just going to soak all up. So yeah, I'll just give one second. Okay, so it's all big, lovely. So now it's time for my foundation. I use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This one, it's a full coverage foundation in shade Medium Olive. I like it because it gives me a bit of a tan and if I'm wearing a big tan, then yeah, it goes on very nicely. So what I do is I just pump it on my skin. I try to just use one so that it's not heavy, like in my face. Please. My head. And you've got to work very quickly with this one because otherwise it um, blotches 
and it sets on your skin really fast. So let's get the move on. A little extra because my other one's really bad to die. I am not a professional. <laughs> I don't really know too much about what I do. I just know that this works for me and my skin. So yeah, just keep pop, 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 and just keep doing this. So as you can see, it's not fully covered everything up, but it has give me a nice cover i know that some people go in again with the second layer but i don't really like that personally i just like to use concealer another thing that if i'm doing just like every simple day and i'm not not at any time then i do just use this concealer it's really really good it's just a lifesaver to be honest it's a revolution conceal and define infinite long wear concealer in shade c2 yeah so i put some here and here and I I do go all in with my concealer cover up the acne but mainly just on my cheeks and a few drops up here and then we'll just go back in with the beauty blender I'm not sure whether I'm too close or too far away from the camera I'll just leave it here Oh, I've got something to tell you guys actually. Um, a day or two ago, I changed my Invisalign tray to a new one and wow, is it hurting. <laughs> my teeth at the back are moving and it's absolutely killing me. They're super, super hurting. Oh, look at that, look what that does. I just don't look tired when I use this. And I always look tired. I haven't been able to sleep very well, but yeah, this just saves my life. <laughs> I'm gonna go in again with this one. Just two, two, line, 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 line. Cool. This one's just like building this one. Yeah, I've had stars since doing a new morning routine and it's making me feel so energetic and i just feel so organized in the morning it's really good i think that it's so important that when you start your day you start with a routine and something that's going to empower you for the whole day and if you start really well then your day's going to go really well so and that's about it so as you can see most of it's clued up by now and that's enough for me what i do now is i go with my bronzer I've used this for a long time as you can see it was the Rimmel natural bronzer in shade 022 sun bronze and I just go in with a studio brush I also don't know anything about the brushes <laughs> I don't do my researching makeup I just use what works for me I do have to admit that I go in pretty hard with my bronzer because I don't contour so I get my big forehead out <laughs> And then I go down. Oh my god, how much better does that look? I just look so warm. I do my chin. And do this, go. Cheap mother cords, my jawline. Can you just warm it up? There we go. I also like to do a little bit on my nose. And there, I brush it off and then just pop that part. I don't know why, but I have so many baby hairs. Like, what are these for? Why? Like, this one just swoops. I don't know if you can see, but it's literally just like, whoop. Okay, whatever. With the bronzer, I also like to just use this little brush and do my eyelids. I don't really like to go in with any colour other than like a natural one I'm going to go in quite messy I just hit it all off, give it a quick wipe and um, I don't use this brush for any other colour if I'm using any other colour then I'll actually use this brush this one's quite a trio I don't know what this one is 
This is Avon. Let me just do it quick. Like this. Seems to work well. No. Yeah. So I literally look like an egghead. <laughs> Move on to my eyebrows. So I'm, I use. Just gonna brush them up. Look, I have so many. Yeah. So I use this little thing. I have actually run out of the eyebrow pencil. It was really good, so I do recommend this. But I ran out and I bought some other products at that time. I bought this. The thing has come off. <laughs> but it's just from Superdrug. And it was really quite cheap. Uh, I just work it into my hand and then use it as a, a, a cream but with a brush. I have a little trick for you guys right now. <laughs> with my eyebrows, I like them to look big. Because as you can see, they are actually quite big, but they don't stay back. Look, I can like I brush them downwards. Look at the difference. It's crazy. What I like to do is I use some gel. I use the Eco Styling Gel. I just put it in a little pot. This one, really, really good. This one's the one with argan oil in. I like it because when I'm putting it on my hair, then it's just amazing. And it makes my hair feel super hydrated. I always put this on while I'm doing my makeup just to moisturize my lips a little bit. So what I like to do is I use a clear mascara brush. I've cleaned it. What I like to do is I just tap a little bit in there. I've had so many people asking me like, have I had the, what's it called? Hmm. Brow lamination. People ask me if I had brow lamination, but no, I don't. I just do this. So yeah, you just get that. Mm. And oh, it shouldn't look that. There you go. And I just stick my eyebrows up. Imagine I'm just gonna... Ooh. <laughs> and then you just shake them. This way your eyebrows stay like this all day. It's so good. Because the gel is so good, they just stay there. Yeah. So they should look like that. And then you just let it dry, add a bit more, and then I'm going with this eyebrow. I just can't believe how many eyebrows I actually have. Ooh, I look crazy. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has done this, but if you have, then what gel do you use? Because I think this gel is so good. Sometimes I like to just leave them like this because they just look super full and once they've dried then they just stay there like all day. Yeah, I like to let them dry. There's kind of an embarrassing story about my eyebrows because when I was younger I actually shaved them off. Um, <laughs> I don't know why but I just saw a razor at the side and as a kid I was just like oh okay let's just see what it looks like and then I had to put like a banner on my eyebrows and I just was so embarrassed when I was a kid if there's some of my friends from school watching then you guys know what I mean <laughs> what I do now is this on my lips and it's just gonna take away any products like that you've got on there So now it's time for my eyebrows because they've dried. So what I do is I get this, what I was showing you before. I work it into my hand. Not too much, not too little. Like this, oh, yep. Yeah. And then I get this brush. It's by Studio. I don't know what to describe this brush as. Go in with this. And I just define any sparse areas of my eyebrow. I'm going to try to do it like in here. And a little bit under here. And the underbrow. I'm always going back and forth.
that. And look how full they look. Oh, I don't like that. Why does it look so long? So you can see that I've done my eyebrows in just a little bit of product. I don't even need it all. Let's brush them out. Yeah, there we go. They don't look natural, but they don't look, they look super big right now because I don't have anything on. Conceal them. This a studio brush and a concealer again. Love on my hand. How long did it? It literally looks like I took hours on my eyebrows, but I'm just not that dark. I was supposed to be doing just a like a natural well everyday makeup routine but this is just turning into like this is a bit more of a I would do this when I want to make an effort but I'm not really making an effort. No more eyeliner. outside for the next one it's really difficult doing it like I'm being conscious of the camera because I don't want to put my whole head in your face I don't completely go the whole way I usually do the end and then I do a little bit on the inside eyeliner that I'm using is a liquid eyeliner it's just W7 hard and I find that it's just super easy to work with rather than working with like a brush. I also like the pens so with my NYX. This is my absolute favorite. Like I don't have any other favorite lip liner that I go to. It's absolutely amazing. Like it's so natural, but you can put some on the top that makes it look better. <laughs> this one is in shade Sandstorm. I also have the liquid suede lip in Sandstorm as well and that's my, that's my absolute go-to. If they ever discontinue this product then I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do. But... Yeah, going with my eyelashes now. So the most important thing for me is colours. My mom has really good eyelashes as well. But this one is just the Super Curler 24 Hour Volume Curl Mascara by Rimmel London. It is good, but it's just not like my favorite. You can see already, like, my, look at that. What is that? That's crazy. I don't know what you guys do, but I like to put mascara on my bottom eyelashes. And that's basically it. I'm gonna just show you guys what this looks like on. I like it just like this because we've got to wear masks. And when you wear a mask, you don't really know what I mean. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> I'm using highlighter. Come on, let's end this one. I'm just gonna get some product. On my nose. I love highlight. Look at that! I love highlight on the nose. <laughs> A little bit here. Under my eyebrow. My highlighter. I do like with this one. I just do this to kind of like get any product off. With this side, I like to do this. Where it is. So that is. Oh! I don't use it anywhere else. I know they say where your points hit, but I have a really shiny forehead. And I don't think that I should put any highlighter there. 
This is how it looks now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sort this out and then, yeah. I always use this. Sometimes I use a treadmill one, but I use this. So Argonol, you can see I put it for a while. Argonol heat defense leave-in spray with Moroccan Argonol extract. I got this from the power shop and I just think it's super. You can get it from the power shop or you can get it from body care. I swear by body care. There's absolutely anything in there that you need to look like, yeah, at. It's in there. So yeah, I just make sure I spray, spray. I'm sorry guys, it's like That's my first layer done, and then I'm just gonna do, do the rest. Okay, so that's my hair done. I always like to finish off my hair with some serum. I'm nearly finished. Oh, this is hair. It's this one, not to be twisted, lightweight, styling oil for crazy curls. I just get some on the wand and put it in my hand. A little bit more. And then rub it in. And then I go down. All the way to the end. Smells amazing. I'm going to just make sure my curtain's in the right place. And then it's all good to go. Except I forgot one thing. It's my highlighter on the inner corner of my eyes. First, just because it like makes my eyes look so much more awake. Like that. Oh, I just love it so much. So this is what I look like when I don't have any of the lights in my face. And, and this is what I look like when I do. I don't use any super expensive brands, as you can see, it's all affordable, usually you can put them all in the drug stores, I usually find them all in Superdrug, and yeah, I could change some of my products, but overall I love it, and look at the eyebrows, like, the eyebrow trick is so good, you guys. Okay guys, so that's just about it for this video, if you like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. And I'll see you in my next video. Ciao, guys.